In this video, we're going to learn how to build an N8N workflow that edits an existing image using the Nano Banana model, then uses that edited image as the start image for image to video generation with the VO3.1 model. All of this runs seamlessly through the 02 Launch API gateway, so you'll get unlimited generations for both Nano Banana and VO3.1 completely free and fully automated. Refined, minimal, tailored to perfection. The Camel Wool Overcoat, now 15% off. Shop now. All right, let's get started. We've already built an NAN ready template that uses the new Nano Banana model to edit existing images and then turns that image into a video using VO3.1, all completely free through the 02 Launch API Gateway. Pretty cool, right? Let's dive in step by step. First of all, we're going to test the Nano Banana Image Editing API. This is a powerful new tool that can replace heavy editing software like Photoshop or CapCut. Instead of spending hours editing manually, you can simply enter a prompt and instantly get a stunning creative result, just like you imagined. Now to start this process, we'll need an image URL as input. If you have a photo file, don't worry. We can easily create a temporary URL. We'll use a free image hosting service that stores your photo for one hour. Simply upload your image and it'll generate your own shareable URL. Once we have that image URL, we'll copy and paste it into our HTTP request node in N8N. This node will download the image file directly from the URL. But remember, our editing API needs the input image in base64 string format. So next we'll convert the downloaded image file into a base64 string. Then we'll pass that base64 data into our nano banana image editing node. This node connects directly to our editing image API. Make sure to enter your own 02 launch API key in the header. Inside the body JSON, we'll include the base64 image data from the previous node and configure the aspect ratio. We support several popular image sizes here. Next, in the instruction field, we'll add our image prompt. This tells the model what to change or extract. Once everything's ready, hit execute step. For this example, we're going to extract the clothing from an image, keeping only the outfit with a transparent background. This is super useful if you're making product clothing ads or fashion showcase videos. Of course, you can use any reference image you want and customize the prompt however you like. We even have a collection of nano banana image editing prompt templates inside the classroom for different business cases. So feel free to browse around and pick one that fits your needs. Here's the prompt we're using to extract clothing from an image. We'll paste that into our API node. Since it's a template, you can tweak it anytime to match your own version or creative direction. Once we execute the node, the API will return an image file in base64 format. To preview it, we'll simply convert it back into an image file and open it. Awesome! We successfully extracted the fashion clothing from our reference image. Now you might notice something interesting. Every time you run this, you'll get slightly different outputs even with the same image and the same prompt. That's because the Nano Banana model uses a random parameter called seed. Each run generates a new seed, which means a new creative variation every single time. Cool, right? This opens up huge opportunities for creative businesses. For example, you can extract clothing directly from existing fashion product photos on any e-commerce site, or from your own product shots, and instantly turn them into custom ad videos. Just take a screenshot or download the thumbnail of a product, then upload it to a temporary image host to get your own image URL. We usually recommend uploading it ourselves, just in case the original server deletes the image later. Then input that new image URL into our download image node, just like we did before. And that's the complete workflow for using the Nano Banana model to edit and enhance existing images directly inside N8N. Pretty amazing, right? And this is just the beginning, because once we have our edited image, we'll be ready to use it in VO3.1 to generate our video. We've already prepared the N8N nodes for handling this process. Everything connects seamlessly through the Zero to Launch API gateway. Basically, here's what happens. We start by uploading the reference image to VO3 as the start image. This upload node expects an image in base64 string format, and lucky for us, our Nano Banana image node already returns the image in that format, so we can directly pass that base64 data into the upload image node. Make sure to add your own 02 launch API key in the header of the upload image node. Here we've already included the image data from the previous node in the body. Once uploaded, the node returns a media generation ID, 
and we'll use that ID in the next step inside the Image to Video API. We've just published the new Image to Video API that uses VO 3.1 mode via 02 Launch API. To use it, all you need to do is enter your own 02 Launch API key in the header, then configure the video prompts and choose the aspect ratio for the output video. Here we've already included the media ID that was transferred from the previous node in the body. Now let's move on to the video prompt. To make things easier, we've already built a template for this type of clothing style video. You'll find it in our classroom section. Refined, minimal, tailored to perfection. The camel wool overcoat, now 15% off. Shop now. Pick a prompt from our pre-made template list and watch the demo outputs for each version. Once you've chosen your favorite prompt, plug it right into the image to video API node. You can set the aspect ratio to either portrait or landscape, depending on your goal, short form videos or widescreen ads. When you execute the node, the API will return a task ID. This task ID allows us to track the generation progress. Next, we'll use a check video status node to loop and check that task ID until it's marked as success. Remember, you'll need to include your 02 launch API key again in the header here. This loop will keep checking until the video status updates to success. As usual, we'll use an if node to verify that condition. When the status finally equals success, that means the video generation is complete. And along with it, we'll get a final video URL. At this point, we pass that URL into a download video HTTP request node to grab the finished result. And that's it. We've successfully generated a video from an edited image using VO 3.1, all inside N8N, powered by the 02 Launch API. Pretty amazing how smooth the entire workflow is, and if you want to add voice or speech to your final video, it's super easy. Inside the template, you'll see an optional text field. You can remove the placeholder words there and replace them with your own caption text or script. That text will become your voiceover content. You can customize it to match the product, the story, or the exact emotion you want to convey. And that's it. You now have a fully automated video generation workflow that edits your image with Nano Banana, turns it into a video with VO 3.1, from idea to final video, all done automatically, all powered by 02 Launch API. So whether you're creating product ads, funny short form videos, or stylish UGC content, you now have the tools to scale creativity faster than ever. This wraps up our tutorial for today. Great job following along, and I'll see you in the next lesson.